Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a look at how October is going to play out for you. I'm super excited for the new month. We have some new forecasts and everything going up. So definitely make sure you stay tuned, but we're going to see what predictions or messages show up for your sign specifically. I will leave the information listed below if at any point you do want a personal reading or if you want to follow me on my other social medias. And of course, I do my live shows around like 7 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the channel. So if you ever want to see that, subscribe, hit the notification bell, especially if you want to see future uploads anyways. But let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to flip the camera so you guys can actually see what we're working with with the cards, okay? But let's get straight into it. Libras, let's go ahead and get straight into your reading. What are the predictions and messages for my Libras for October 2020? October 2023 predictions and messages for my Libras. Okay, so first card we have is the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I see you guys being extremely motivated, focused, driven, all of that, okay? The message here is to take this drive, this inspiration, these ideas that could just be coming at you left and right and be structured in them because the knight of swords the trick is in that sense of being super super motivated to get a goal done or to complete something or make something happen you could lose sight of like the little details in the process of getting there or moving too quickly could kind of ruin things all together so the message is to just kind of be careful about that and where are you being maybe a little on and off in your strategy you know, because the Nine of Swords is also like this. I'm going full force ahead. And then you charging, charging, charging. It's hard to keep up with that energy. So it's finding a balance between charging ahead and being also tempered in your approach and, and not just rushing through things. Um, another thing that could happen during this time frame. So like I said, you could be very determined, driven, focused. And you could be seeing things pick up for you quite quickly, but you are having to address, like I said, burnout that could be coming up at the most random moments during this month. You could also have to defend yourself. There could be somebody trying to verbally come at you or verbally um, attack you in a sense. Okay, this could be an Aquarius. It could be another air sign. It doesn't even have to be this zodiac sign, but there could be someone trying to like verbally come at you and... Some of you guys will feel like you have to defend yourself. Another thing that could happen, someone who's been very inconsistent in your life, a love interest, they could be doing this thing of continuously doing that, um, <laughs> coming in and out. You could have a moment where they randomly reach out to you if you guys haven't been speaking or if you guys go on a break during this time frame, just as fast as you guys may go on that break, you guys may be back on speaking terms. Now, you could also find yourself just a lot more upbeat, hopeful, turning to your faith, whether that's, you know, you being a Christian under a religion, being spiritual, you could be turning to your faith system or your, um, your angels. There's also this deep healing or releasing of any just pent up emotions or feelings. You could have like a really good cry this month or like one day two days where you just kind of like release a lot of pent-up emotions and you can feel a lot better after now i also have the two of wands so the two of wands does speak about like having to make a choice in terms of what action to move or what action to take next so if you've been in this debate of like hmm what creative thing am i going to actually go after and try to pursue career-wise you could be choosing finally, okay? If you've been just debating on which two states you may possibly move to, you could be choosing one. Same thing in terms of jobs. You could be making finally a choice here that could be changing the trajectory of your life. And in you, you know, taking certain actions, it's important to know that there is a cause and effect in everything. And some things are also random, but there is a cause and effect. 
So although you may not have things all the way figured out, you could be understanding that certain actions you could be taking are either going to take you further away from progress or put you closer. Now, I also have the justice card. So there could be some legal, legal stuff coming up here that needs to be sorted out and dealt with. This could be like a lawsuit where you get a very fair judgment. This could be, you know, legal troubles that you get some sort of judgment on and it works out fair because it's upright. So this is a fair outcome. I also see you guys being just the focal point. You could be looking at ways that you can create balance in your life and harmony outside of you, you know, maybe working and having X, Y, and Z to take care of. Now, what is the message in regards to how this month's going to turn out for my Libras? What is the message? So we have wide open. Move this back a little bit. So... With the wide open card here, let's read this really quick. It says, you're free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all the bounty of life's effortless or effortless, endless <laughs> possibilities. I totally jacked that up. I'm sorry. Anyways, this card says, envy, jealousy, and possessiveness are the character flaws to be careful of at this time. You or someone is closed off, unable to remain open to new ideas or intimacy. Heed the gentle warning that too tight a hold on what or who you love or what you aspire to will choke the life out of what that which you desire. Open your heart. Yours can never be withheld. No, excuse me. It says open your heart and loosen your grip for what is truly yours can never be withheld from you. If another is shutting you down, let that person be. Don't try to force a door or mind to open. So this is a reminder a warning to be careful people who are closed off, who are stuck in their ways as well. Sometimes it's a benefit or not sometimes, it's better to recognize when someone is closed minded and let that person be because you trying to change someone who doesn't want to change has to change on your end <laughs> because all you're going to be is stressed out in the end. And if you yourself are experiencing this inability to be open-minded and you may be a little bit too fixed or rigid in your ideas or your perspective and how things are going to go, you're not allowing yourself to really experience the full magic of what life has to offer. And essentially, you're creating your own limitations. Also, be careful people who are envious, jealous of you and could also be quite possessive. Now, let's keep going. What is the message and predictions for my Libras for the month of October? So we have a labyrinth, which represents journey. So this is a reminder to respect the journey that you're on, okay? There is no real finish line. The illusion of reaching a finish line in your, you know, or reaching a finish line in your career or in your love life or in life gen in general is not real. The only finish line there technically is, is death. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're, unless you're rushing to death, then you should allow yourself to find joy in the current moment. Okay, we also have coins, which represents good luck. So money could be flowing to you a lot easier. If you are a business owner, this could be a really good time for you to make money. So make sure you're really showing up and showing out. This could also be a good sign in terms of new employment or getting some sort of raise in some sense. So if you are, you know, wanting to step things up in terms of your career, this is definitely the time to take action and do so. Okay, and this is also a reminder to know that you are naturally abundant. There is no opportunity that's meant for you that will be kept from you. So when you have that understanding, you never have to feel like you're missing out on anything or that you're doing something wrong or you're in the wrong path or your journey's not, you know, progressing the way that you may have envisioned it. Because you always will find your way to the opportunities that are meant for you. And that's a fact. 
So this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful and to give you insight. If you enjoyed, thumbs the video up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.